All right, thank you, Marcella. It's time for my final thought. Picture this, playing in a thick fog, two high school football teams are locked in a tie game. With only seconds left, the quarterback takes a snap, rolls back in the pocket, sails a perfect pass to a streaking receiver down the field, hitting him in stride as he crosses into the end zone while the time runs out on the clock, putting the stamp on a perfect season, winning the game and the state title their first in 27 years. Watching the kids pour onto the field in celebration, you're left with the thought that this looks like something out of a movie. And then you learn that the winning team is Newtown High. And the game was played on December 14th, the anniversary of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. And you know Hollywood can't write it that good. It's been seven years since we as a nation were rocked with the news of the shooting that took the lives of 26 school children and educators. Seven years since December 14th has become a day of sad remembrance for the people of Newtown and the state of Connecticut. So when the school officials found out that the championship game was to be played on that day, they faced a dilemma. What to do? Should they play? Should they cancel? Some of the players had gone to Sandy Hook. Would they be able to handle the emotion of the moment? So they talked to the boys who decided that they were going to play, that they had to play for themselves and for the community who came out in full force to support them, wearing green in remembrance of those who were lost in the shooting. Like Jack Pinto, whose brother Ben was on the field for Newtown. After the national media picked up the story, people from across the country took to social media to give the team their flowers, with most describing it as an act of fate. Even their opponents went online to give them their props, saying, while a state championship loss is never easy to swallow, the joy it is bringing Newtown football and the entire hashtag Newtown community is certainly numbing our pain. Like I said, you can't write it this good. A part of me wants to talk again about this nation's unwillingness to act on some sort of gun control, but I'm going to leave that for another day. For now, let's all just savor this moment. We didn't even have to buy tickets for it. And let's hope that it serves to brighten this community, not just now, but moving forward into the future. And let us celebrate the sturdiness of coach Bobby Patson and his young Nighthawks, who took it upon themselves to lift these people up and, even if just for a brief period, help them forget. We're going to continue this conversation online. You guys keep following hashtag WSA9Weather as well as our website and app to get all the updates on the closings, delays, and best routes to get to and from work. Have a beautiful Monday. Get on up, D.C.